The mayor of Coquitlam is calling out a local cab company. He says left a wheelchair user without a ride. If there's a gap, we can have someone stranded for hours. And that is simply outrageous. It's not, it's not right. It's not fair. Richard Stewart says he got a call Monday night from a resident who said they couldn't get a wheelchair accessible cab. It prompted Stewart to make a social media post asking if anyone had a wheelchair van he could borrow. Well, I phoned to the dispatcher and got the regular story, which is that they leave their uh, wheelchair vans, the licensed wheelchair vans in the yard because they're more expensive to operate. Um, so she agreed that she would make some calls, try to find a driver uh, now that the mayor was involved. Stewart says eventually Bel Air Taxi, also known as Coquitlam Taxi, did get a wheelchair accessible cab there more than two hours later. This family who suffered a tragedy recently shouldn't have to be stuck in a parking lot on a mild night like tonight or in the rain or snow for hours waiting for the promised van. Uh, this needs to this needs to be fixed. Bel Air Taxi calls the incident a misunderstanding, telling City News long weekend staffing issues and a shortage of wheelchair trained drivers are to blame, and that it called the taxi company in a different city to take the trip. It says every local cab company has been losing specially trained drivers to ride sharing services. It says five years ago it had 17 wheelchair accessible vans, and now it has 10. I definitely empathize with the mayor of Coquitlam's response and outrage to, to this situation, and it's not surprising to me in the slightest. The executive director of Disability Alliance BC says she's heard from many clients who haven't been able to get a wheelchair accessible taxi or had to wait hours to get picked up. It just seems incomprehensible in this day and age that accessibility isn't met as a priority, considering that a significant portion of our population is disabled. And and a significant portion of the disabled population has physical disabilities that require wheelchairs or other mobility devices. She says she'd like to see changes, including disability sensitivity training for drivers and more funding for wheelchair accessible cabs from local governments. Stewart would also like to see changes. We're fine with more licenses, but some of them have to be wheelchair accessible vans and they have to be on the road. Uh, it's that last little bit that doesn't seem to have any enforcement at the provincial level. In Coquitlam, Monica Gould, City News.